Hey kids, look! It's time to read a book. Book time. Book time. Time to read a book. Book time. Book time. Time to read a book. Book time. Book time. Time to read a book. Chocolate cinnamon read aloud. Hello, chocolate cinnamon readers. It's Miss Sasha, and today we're going to read "Never Show a T-Rex a Book." By Rashmi Surdeshpand and Diane Yuen. Judging from the cover, this one's going to be really exciting, but also a little bit wild. Are you ready? Let's go. Never show a T-Rex a book. Just imagine if you do. Well, she won't know what to do with it, will she? She'll probably think it's a hat. Or a biscuit, so you'll have to sit down and teach her how to read. And if you teach her how to read, she'll get all excited and want to read even more. So you'll have to sneak her into the library. And if you take her to the library, she'll want to borrow a lot of books, a lot of books. Books about space and pirates and jungles and dragons. Books about cooking. Books about music. Books about numbers and books about fancy, complicated things that look very important. And if you borrow all those books, you'll have to hide all of them and the T-Rex in your room, so your parents don't find out, or you'll be in. Big trouble, won't you? And when everyone's gone to sleep, you'll have to sit up all night reading with her. And the next day, you'll have to do it all over again, and again, and again. Imagine that. And if you read all those books, you are going to get very, very sleepy. And she is going to become very, very clever. And if she becomes very, very clever, she might just decide that she's bored of just being a dinosaur. She might decide she preferred to be an artist, a doctor, a professor, an architect, a computer scientist, an astronaut. Or even the prime minister. Look, her little sign says, "Vote for T Rex." And if she becomes the prime minister, what do you suppose she'll do next? The first thing she'll do is pass some new laws. Everyone knows that dinosaurs love watching films. So she'll invite all of her friends and make sure that they have bigger seats at the cinema, and bigger tubs of popcorn, and no more roofs on buses, and libraries everywhere, lots of them. Of course, she'll want to make sure that all her friends learn how to read too. They probably won't all fit in your bedroom, will they? Imagine what will happen next. You'll just have to take them to school with you. That'll be, uh, interesting. Look, now she's the teacher, Miss T Rex. And if they all learn to read and all become really, really clever, there will be just no stopping them. They will be everywhere. Look, they have a sign for a Dino Animal Rescue. Amazing! Whoa! Can you imagine? All that because you showed a T Rex a book. Right, that's quite enough imagining for one day. The end. That was a fun story, and I can't wait for Rashmi's next book. 
never teach a stegosaurus to do sums. See you next time, chocolate cinnamon friends.